everyone. Welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to run Kaylee Linux on your Windows 11 machine with full GUI support, you're in the right place. In today's video, I'll show you how to install Kali Linux using WSL and get the full graphical interface working smoothly. Let's jump right in. Step one is making sure WSL is installed and enabled on your system. In Windows 11, it's pretty straightforward. In the search box, search for turn windows, features on or off. Look for the WSL feature and enable it. The installation is complete, but do not restart the computer yet and enable the virtual machine platform feature as well. You can now restart the computer for the changes to take effect. Open PowerShell and run this command. Uh, this command is useful for ensuring you're running the latest features, security fixes, and performance improvements related to Windows subsystem for Linux. Get a better terminal experience by downloading and installing Windows Terminal from the Microsoft Store. Next, download and install Kali Linux from the Microsoft Store. The first time you launch, you'll be prompted to create a non-root user and set a password. Simply follow the on-screen instructions to complete this process. Update the Kali Linux using this command. WinKX offers a graphical user interface for Kali Linux on WSL, simplifying the navigation and use of Kali Linux tools. Run the following command to install it. Once the installation is complete, you can start WinKX in various modes. Windows mode launches the Kali Linux desktop in a separate window. To do so, run the following command. You can also use the enhanced session mode. Similar to Hyper-V using RDP for a richer experience, run this command. And there you go. You now have a fully functional Kali Linux installation with a GUI on Windows 11 using WSL. And this setup is perfect if you want to run Kali for penetration testing or security research while still having access to your Windows environment. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials, and leave any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.